Good afternoon, this is Brian Split with Allendale here in McHenry, Illinois at Allendale's trading floor. And uh, we are here for your weekly wrap up for the week ending Friday, June 15, 2012. And uh, it was a general day of pressure in the grain markets today, uh, especially one of the main features being unwinding of old crop, new crop spreads. Uh, we did have the uh, old crop, new crop corn spread, the July, December spread, down about 12 cents here today late in the session while the uh, July, November bean spread was down about 14 cents. Um, as far as, uh, these are not settlement prices, but uh, more rather the uh, last trade in the electronic market, they are still processing settlements, but July down about 19 cents at uh, roughly 582 and a half. December was down about seven at 509. We did have July beans down about eight cents at 1378, and November beans actually up six and three quarters at about 1315 and a half. And on the wheat side of things, uh, July Chicago down nine at 614 and a half, with December down 10 at 656 and a half. Um, as far as other news this morning, we did have some export sales announced, and uh, we did have a purchase of uh, 120,000 tons of old crop beans to an unknown buyer, um, 262,000 tons of new crop beans to China, but uh, China actually also canceled. Uh, 167,000 tons of old crop beans. So we are seeing uh, a, a possible trend maybe developing where China could cancel some of these old crop purchases that were made in a very uh, uh, strong succession here um, over the past several months where old crop beans were, it seemed almost every day they were buying beans. And uh, now they may be uh, shifting some of those purchases to new crops. So uh, that uh, undoubtedly is part of the reason why we've seen some of the pressure on the old crop, new crop being spread. Other than that, um, another analyst firm uh, was uh, uh, looking for some results to be released today. And um, we've got uh, new acreage estimates that uh, really in general we just saw a small increase in overall acres. Uh, both the corn acreage and the soybean acreage were increased and that also did provide a little bit of a bearish tone uh, mid-session here as the markets continue to grind lower. Um, over to the meat side of things, overall we had really quiet cattle trade today. Um, August down about 25 at 116.77. Uh, October up 15 at 121.20. Um, cash did trade three to four lower here over the course of the week with uh, trade at 118 and, and 119 yesterday. On the hog end, uh, price is under pressure today, which is actually one of the first days in a while we've seen some good, good pressure in the hog markets. But uh, in July, down about 117 at 93.35, and August was down 165 at 91.35. Um, we are extremely overbought in the hog market, and uh, maybe these markets have uh, priced in some of the short-term tight supplies for the time being, and uh, focus may be shifting at least for the time uh, to some of the more macroeconomic forces at work. And uh, with that being said, right now the uh, macro markets are focused on the elections in Greece this weekend. Depending on uh, which party is elected or if there's another stalemate that uh, is going to really change the mentality next week. Um, if the, I hate to say wrong party, but if the, if the party that is elected is the one that uh, does not want to go along with the current austerity measures that have already been agreed to, uh, that's going to bring that issue right back to the forefront of the trade's mind. And um, uh, if we need more austerity measure um, agreements or deliberation, uh, that's going to cause more and more uncertainty in the marketplace. Uh, other than that, um, we did have uh, several central banks step up to the plate and, and at least give the idea that uh, um, liquidity will be provided if, if needed to be, um, should things in, in Greece um, provide some issues on that end. Um, but as far as, as the uh, outside markets are concerned, quiet day in crude oil, uh, up about two cents, 83.93 a barrel. Gold up about eight bucks today at uh, $1,628 an ounce. Silver up 26 cents at $28.66 cents per ounce. Uh, the uh, equity futures actually up near the highs of the week. Uh, we came out of the gates running on Sunday night on news of the Spanish bailout. Uh, turned lower from there, and, and we are back up near those highs. Dow futures up about 70 points, uh, right around that 12,675 area in the September futures. Uh, the uh, S&P up about 6.5 points, right around that 13. 
33 area on the uh, September futures as well. As far as the dollar index, down about 40 points in September at 81.94. Um, these are new lows for this uh, current pullback that the U.S. dollar has been in. And, um, you know, with the recent economic data being released and also uh, hopes from many investors that uh, because of that economic data, uh, future economic stimulus is imminent that has been providing pressure on the on the dollar. But uh, that's your recap for the week. want to remind you that uh, June 26, we are scheduled for another webinar, the uh, Allendale Ag Leaders uh, Series. So uh, if you haven't already, please register for that and make sure that uh, you're signed up. We've got a lot of good information as far as uh, some expectations on uh, the acreage situation for the end of the month report and also quarterly stocks. And uh, I believe Frank LaPlaca will also be doing the technical analysis portion of that webinar. So lots of good information coming your way. If you have any questions at all, please give us a call here at the office at 1-800-2-MARKET. That's 1-800-262-7538. You can also reach us online at www.allendale-inc.com. And uh, good luck trading to you next week. Thank you.